Hello everyone and welcome to Cam Titan Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the bobble stitch. So as always I don't like to dawdle so let's get started. So I have my swatch here of that bobble stitch. It's a very nice stitch. This is the front of the stitch and this is the back of the stitch. The back side is not too bad either. It makes a very nice stitch. We're going to go ahead and get started. Just have some regular category four yarn here in yellow and a five millimeter hook and i'm going to chain an odd number of stitches plus one so i will have 21 stitches plus one and i'll have 22 chains at the end of the row so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i'll be back with my 22 chains so now we're going to go ahead and skip that first stitch and go into the next stitch with a single crochet I'm going to make a row of single crochets. You don't have to do this if you want, don't want, and I'll be back. So I have my first row of single crochets and I chain one and turn my work. Just go right in and put your single crochet into the first stitch and we'll start with our bobble stitch. So yarn over and go into your first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two only, yarn over again. Go back into that same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops only. You have three on your hook now. Yarn over, go back into that same stitch again, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You have five on this hook now. You're only pulling through two. Go back in through again yarn over and pull through two. So you see I made a mistake there. I didn't pull through my two previously. So let's do that again. I'm gonna show you again in the next stitches. Fact, in fact, I actually think I go a little slower in that next one, because I fumbled this first one. <laughs> so go into your next one with a single crochet. Now let's do this right, okay? Go ahead and chain one. I mean, you don't chain, sorry. Yarn over and go into that stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through, go back through that stitch again and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two only again. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go back into that stitch again. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. Chain one. Let's do that again. So in our next stitch, we're going to put a single crochet. And this is just allowing to have some space in between those bobbles. So back into our bobble stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back into that stitch, yarn over and pull up two again, three loops, and we're going in with another, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four. And I'm going to continue doing this down. Just want to show you what these bobbles look like. So this right here is the correct side for your bobble. So continue going. So we're working on the wrong side, the back side. So I'm going to keep going across and I will meet you at the other side. Okay, so I'm back. I am right at the end of the row. I chained one already and I'm going to put a single crochet into this last stitch here. I just wanted to show you what that looks like. You start with a single crochet and you end with a single crochet. Chain one and turn your work. So now as you can see, it's kind of bendy and that's okay. It will straighten out once we do this second row. So the second row is just pretty much just some single crochets across. So go into your first stitch with a single crochet. Now, when you look at your bobble stitch, there's several stitches on top. This stitch right here where I'm pointing um, is where you're going to put your single crochet in there. That's where you made your last double crochet for that cluster, for that bobble stitch. So go right in and just make a single crochet. Then go into the next stitch, which is a single crochet, and make a single crochet. 
and just do that all the way across. Look for that loop on the top. It's the last loop, your last double crochet of that cluster of that bobble. Make your single crochet, single crochet into the next one. So when I come back, I will be at the end, either the end or the beginning. See there. Okay. So here we're going to put a single crochet in this last stitch, chain one, and turn your work. So you see what that looks like. Now right here in this space, I only put three bobbles, which is probably a good thing to just to show you what it looks like, the difference between the four bobbles that are across and the little three bobble. Um, when you have the four bobbles, it'll stick out a little bit further as opposed to that three, which is kind of mild and you want it to poke out. You want that bobble to stick out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's say you're at the point where it's long enough for your project that you're making. You have enough rows and you're ready to finish off. So we're gonna finish off by putting a single crochet at the end, chain one and turn your work and just make some single crochets going all the way across. You don't have to chain, just a single, uh, a simple single crochet all the way across. Now with this stitch, you don't have to use single crochets. You can use double crochets, but I think when you use single crochets mm -hmm. with this bobble stitch, because the bobble is so fat, it will hide that single crochet and make it look like they're all, you know, all side by side when in actual, when they're actually not. But anyway, I want to thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching and learning the bobble stitch. I will see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tie Handmade uh, Crochet. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.